Growing up on a farm in Rankin County, Mississippi, Melba McAfee Smith developed a deep understanding of rural life right from the start. She and her brother Dalton helped their parents farm 40 acres of fruits, vegetables, and livestock, attended a one-room schoolhouse where her mother was the lone teacher, and traveled over 40 minutes each way to attend high school. She was a bright child who worked hard throughout her youth, even memorizing 80 Bible verses at the ripe old age of six and a half so that she could get a full scholarship to a Christian summer camp. As a standout in her local 4-H club, she won first prize in the county fair for her homemaking project. She attended Mississippi Valley State University and earned her degree in business administration, and then earned her graduate degree from Tuskegee University. In 1972, Melba joined the Federation of Southern Cooperatives as its Director of Consumer Cooperatives at the Rural Training and Research Center in Epps, Alabama. It was the beginning of a career devoted to cooperative development in some of the most impoverished, isolated, and ignored communities in the United States. Over the next five years, she served in many capacities to enhance the training center its programs, and the surrounding communities. She stepped in to serve as director of the Black Belt Community Health Center to provide health care services. She met with congressional delegates in Washington, D.C. to discuss the challenges faced by rural Mississippi residents. And she worked intimately with small town residents to identify leaders and encourage them to use the co-op model in their own towns. Melba later returned to her native Mississippi and served as state coordinator for the Mississippi Association of Cooperatives within the Federation of Southern Cooperatives. Although the only staff member, Melba successfully reorganized the organization and increased the membership substantially. In 1983, the Federation couldn't continue paying its staff, so Melba worked in the Jackson City Commissioner's Office for 15 months while volunteering her free time to keep the Federation's programs going. This difficult time turned out to be a blessing for Melba. It was here that she met Charles Smith, who initially came to talk with the commissioner about his Christian ministry and left having met his future bride. The two were married in 1985 and their son Peter was born the next year. In 1997, Melba became the executive director of the Mississippi Center for Cooperative Development within the Federation. She also continued to serve as coordinator of the Mississippi Association of Cooperatives. In these roles, she helped form more than 25 cooperatives, bringing affordable health care and housing to communities, and helping underserved and low-income farm families build competitive businesses. Examples include the Millstone Cooperative, where she helped a group of minority cotton producers secure a quarter million dollars to refurbish a dilapidated cotton gin in order to get a better price for their cotton. As a founding member of the South Rankin County Farmers Cooperative, she worked to pool the resources of her community to better serve their enterprises. And in Chula, Mississippi, she worked to provide safe, quality homes for 20 families in this economically distressed community. She also helped create the Beat 4 Farmers Cooperative in Mashulaville, Mississippi, working with a group of 35 farmers to form a cooperative that today serves more than 150 families and has both a farmer's market and a successful youth development component. In addition, Melba's leadership as an early board member and then president of the Rainbow Whole Foods Co-op helped grow this 15-member food buying club into a successful cooperative grocery store. And she helped build a financial support network for co-ops that has been a vital part of development efforts in the area. More recently, after Hurricane Katrina, she helped form Louisiana's first worker-owned business which has created 20 jobs and will provide health care to the poor and elderly in New Orleans' Lower Ninth Ward. Melba's visionary leadership was a key to this success. 
Melba's devotion to helping rural communities and small farmers has continued unabated over the years, benefiting countless communities. On a national level, she helped build an innovative co-op of cooperative development practitioners called Cooperation Works, which is strengthening communities nationwide using the cooperative model. Again, her visionary and early leadership within CW was a key factor in its success. For more than three decades, Melba Smith has inspired others to embrace the cooperative model through her passion, insight, and enthusiasm. She challenges others to dream and works to ensure that they fulfill those dreams. Her hands-on, grassroots approach to building communities using cooperative principles has helped people build better lives and has helped us build a better world. For this, we honor Melba Smith with induction into the Cooperative Hall of Fame.